What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acre Scuba and Marina. Got a video discussion today. We get asked a lot about, hey, you sell so many different types of fins, how do I know which one's gonna be best for me? And there's a lot of different variables that you need to take into consideration when you go to buy a set of fins. And some of those variables, of course, do you have any physical handicaps? What type of diver you are? What type of exposure suit do you wear? And when do you plan on diving? Because if you're going to be a warm tropical diver, or if you're going to be a cold water winter diver, or if you're going to dive all year round, a lot of that's going to determine on what type of fin that I get. So what I've got here is a series of fins I'm going to show you. We're going to talk briefly about the technology behind them. We're not going to go too in depth because I've actually got videos on each and every one of these fins talking about the pros and cons. But we're going to briefly discuss the design of the fin, what it's used for, and whether or not it'd be good for you. And hopefully at the end of the video, this will help you determine in the future when you go to purchase fins what's going to be the best fin for me. So starting out I've got the Mares Wave fin here. This is just your basic slip-on type or full foot fin. It's really designed for warmer water. Uh, you can wear a neoprene sock with this but it's designed not to be worn with any type of boot. Uh, basically you get it to fit your foot size. It does have some of the same technology that most of the Marius fins has. It's got the channel technology. So that as you're kicking, it, it flows that, that water or channels that water into a, a smaller stream. So it's going to help with propulsion. But this fin's really designed to be used anytime that you're in a warm tropical environment or you're somewhere that you're not going to be walking across a lot of land uh, to get to your dive site. So it's a great fin for a warmer environment. Or maybe you just snorkel. This is a great snorkeling fin as well. But that's the Marius wave fin. Next fin that we're going to look at here is the Mares Extreme, and this is a full bladed fin. And the cool thing about the Mares Extreme is it's very, very lightweight. It is positively buoyant. In the unlikelihood event this fin ever comes off, it's going to float up to the surface. You're not going to lose your fin or sink to the bottom or anything like that. Comes in a slew of different colors. Now this fin, there'll be a link in the description below specifically for this fin to a video from Mares' YouTube channel where you can see the individual technologies that's built in. Uh, anywhere from combating the parachute effect to parasitic vortices, everything that this fin was designed for, you can actually go and watch it. Now this fin is an open heel fin here. It comes in about three or four different sizes, so depending on how big your wetsuit or your dry suit boot is, it's going to work good for you. The straps are removable here. It does have the ABS buckle straps, but you can re replace these with bungee or spring straps, so it's very user friendly. Um, this fin works great for warm or cold water use, um, and it's primarily designed for that flutter kick. It's not really designed for frog kicking or reverse kick or anything like that, but if you're a flutter type kicker or a dolphin kick, this is definitely the fin to go with. It's a great uh, all-around fin. The, probably one of the biggest things that we hear complaints on this is I overkick the fin. And that's what a lot of people will tell us because if you want to go faster underwater, you actually need to kick slower with this fin. The slower you kick, the faster propulsion you're going to have. So this is a great fin. Its fin weighs absolutely nothing. Uh, so it, it's not going to cause leg cramps in any way, shape, or form. But like I said, it's primarily designed strictly for flutter kick, and it's not really designed, or it's not really that good of a fan for a frog kick type scenario. Next fin that we're going to look at, of course, is the Marius Power Plana. Uh, this is one of my personal favorites here. Depending on what type of diver you are, what type of exposure system you use, or how you kick, uh, this is a good fin to go with, say, if you're a dry suit diver because it's big, it's heavy, it's bulky, it weighs a ton. Uh, the fin itself, I'm going to guess, weighs three, four, maybe five pounds. Um, never actually weighed one, but they're, they're extremely heavy compared to all other fins. They're very short in design, so what that's going to work good if you're in a, a, a tight, confined area, maybe you're in a cave or overhead environment or even a wreck, it's very short. You're not going to be hitting it on stuff. Now, the, the fin itself being so heavy, it's not really designed for that flutter kick. It's designed either for the reverse kick or the frog kick type scenario. So if you're in a dry suit and you need the extra weight, or if you're going into an overhead environment, a confined space, if you will, this is a great choice to go with. It comes with the bungee straps, but you can put either the spring straps, or if you like the old style adjustment straps, you can put the ABS straps from Mares on here. Um, it does come with a standard post, just about all Mares fins does. So with the standard post, you can put any aftermarket fin strap on if you don't like the Mares brand. Um, but it's very versatile. Like I said, it's, it's not really designed for flutter kick. It's designed for the frog kick or the frog kick diver out there. Or if you're in a dry suit and need extra weight, this is definitely a great fin to go with. 
We're going to look at the Marez Raptor here. Now, the Marez Raptor is a split fin technology, and the theory behind split fins, it creates less resistance as you're kicking through the water, so it's easier to kick. So if you have that handicap or something where you can't, you don't have a lot of leg strength or a lot of hip strength or whatnot, this is a great fin to use. Now, about the only con to this, though, is you're actually sacrificing propulsion. Anytime we have one solid blade, you're going to be moving a lot of water, but when you have two blades, you're not going to be moving quite as much water uh, so you're going to sacrifice a little bit of propulsion but it is easier to kick with now this fin's a lot heavier than the extreme that i just showed you uh, with the the weight of it, it's going to work good if you need that extra weight maybe for trim purposes or if you're in a dry suit and you need extra weight on your feet that's definitely a way to go uh, but it is open heel technology back here in the back so you can put once again you can keep the abs uh, straps on here you can put the bungees or spring straps or anything like that but that's the Marez Raptor the split fins the last one I'm going to show you is the Marez Super Channel and this is just a big bulky fin it's got a lot of power uh, as far as when you kick it's going to move a lot of water out of the way it does have the same channel technology that a lot of these fins have it's open heel here in the back so you can wear boots with it comes in multiple sizes of course comes in multiple different colors and of course you can get different options as far as uh, strap systems uh, on the power plane as I showed you the bungees these have the uh, ABS buckle systems on it or if you wanted to go with a spring system you could add the spring straps very easy on most of these fins they have the standard post so about all Marius fins other than their full foot fins have the standard post so you can pop the straps off add aftermarket straps or anything like that that you need to but this is an all-around good fin it's not as heavy as the power plane so you can flutter kick with it however it is a little bit on the heavy side so over time it will give you uh, leg cramps if you're not careful so this fin is great if you're going to be frog kicking or if you're uh, back finning or anything like that this is going to be just that all-around good purpose fin to use it's got enough weight to it for a dry suit so it's going to help you keep your feet below the surface or anything like that or you know keep you from getting inverted uh, but all around it's good fin once again that's the Marez Avanti Super Channels so out of all these fins how do we determine what what fin and like I said at the beginning of the video how do we determine what fin works good for us well once again it's going to depend on what type of diver you are what type of environment you're diving in based off of what exposure system you're wearing and also it's going to determine on you know do you have any uh, physical handicaps such as maybe you had knee surgery maybe you had hip surgery or something like that to where you you don't have as much force or as much power to actually move that fin through the water so a lot of these variables are going to uh, play into you know what fin works best for you and like i also said at the beginning of the video it's okay to have multiple fins you know a lot of times if i'm doing pool work for somebody i'll just have that slip on fin where i can just throw it on and jump in i don't need boots in the pool or anything like that if i'm doing a lot of uh, diving here in our area of course I have the the open heel fins where I wear boots if I'm in a dry suit I'm gonna wear that heavier type fin um, to give me that extra weight to help keep me trimmed out so that my fin don't get me in that inverted position like that if I'm in warm tropical environments and, I, and I'm only doing boat diving then once again either the full foot fin or the the extreme fins that I showed you works good because they're really lightweight uh, they're easy if I'm in a confined space or an overhead environment I like the shortness of the power plane of fin because I'm not kicking up stuff or anything like that and, it, and it's small enough that I can get into smaller spaces so different fin technologies there for different purposes you're probably not going to find that one magical fin that works for all the types of diving that you do now if you only do tropical diving one fin will work good if you only do cold water dry suit diving one fin will work good but if you dive year round and you maximize the most out of your certification you're probably not going to have that one magical fin and you can see the different technologies in, in these fins depend on whether you flutter kick you frog kick however you kick each fin has its own purpose so I hope you understand that there's not going to be that one magical fin that works for all types of diving. And it is okay to own multiple sets of fins. I know a lot of people who are on limited budgets, they worry about that. Well, I can't afford this fin. I can't afford that fin. And now you expect me to have multiple fins. Well, no, I don't expect you to have multiple fins up front. If it's summertime, buy you some summertime fins. It doesn't take long to save up money over, uh, say, a month or so, or even two months, three months, up to six months. And now that it's a colder water environment, you got some money that you saved up. Now you can buy the colder water fin or the heavier fin if you're in that dry suit. 
So guys, when you look at fins, think about the technology. Don't necessarily always get caught up in the sales pitch that the salesman's trying to sell to you. Look at the different technologies. Think about what type of diver you are, what exposure system you wear, and can you effectively use that fin? You know, a lot of people like the heavier fins, but if they don't have a lot of leg strength, it's gonna be hard for them to kick. A lot of people like the split fins because it's easier to kick, but now they're sacrificing that propulsion. So really think about it before you get out there and buy a fin. Think about what type of diver you are, what type of diving you plan on doing, what exposure system you have, and of course, are there any physical um, handicaps that you have that, that would keep you from using that fin. So guys, I hope this helped you out when you think about fin selection. If you got a question on any of these fins, there'll be a link in the description below to each fin. There'll also be a video for the uh, Mario's Extremes on there. I want you to go watch that video and you can see the technology behind it because it's really neat how they've taken fins and built in stuff. Um, such as uh, helping not have that parachuting effect. Mariz has put all them little holes into the fin pocket. You know, back in the day, we used to actually drill holes in our fins, and nowadays they're already coming like that. So they're great fins to use. Make sure you watch that video. Click that link down there. If you do have a question for me or any comments or concerns, put it down in the comment se uh, section below. I'll try to get to you as quickly as possible. But guys, as always, I really appreciate you watching these videos. If you got any ideas for future videos of things you want to see from us or any comments, or questions, put it down there. We'll try to make a video on it for you. But as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.